keep that in mind. So these things that I put together, they're different every time. Case in point, today was a very special day. My son, Matthew, 18 years old, his first day of college today. Which is a big deal, because we never thought he would do this. So today, so today, this morning, he became one of the Americans that are enrolled as a college student. That's really cool. Today at 2 o'clock, he became also a, 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 another statistic. He became a college dropout this afternoon. I, I swear, he, when I called him 2 o'clock, Matthew, how was your day? He says, Daddy, I'm in the office right now. I'm unenrolling from this whole thing because I'm just trying to get my money back from the meal plan. Look at this guy's face right here. <laughs> He's a Paul. Here's the thing. I've never been more proud of him to go to college. And I've never been more proud of him for leaving on the first day. I mean, I'm beyond, I, I'm, I'm not saying this with any kind of remorse whatsoever. He did something today that showed the two best qualities in a human being. Absolute courage. You know how disappointed there are family members right now? He overlooked that. And he came to me with something else. He came to me with some logic. He said, Daddy, you know I'm going to leave sooner or later. <laughs> Why don't I just get it done with right now and save the money? Now, he has plans and all this stuff, but for him to do that, it takes what? Courage. Courage. What else? Guts. Guts. And what's a word that we use for guts? Chutzpah. Chutzpah. <laughs> From the Jewish contingency, though, right? That's very good. He's got confidence. And it's undeserved. I mean, he's 18 years old. What did he do? But would you have the confidence? I read in LinkedIn the other day. I'm reading this LinkedIn article. It's a great article. It's about this kid. Has anyone ever heard of, of T. Boone Pickens? Yeah. Yeah, you know T. Boone Pickens? He's like, was it you who said it? You know, what is he? Is he a. What? Uh, producer. Yeah, he's like an energy guy, a billionaire. He's a billion. He's a billionaire company started with energy. T. Boone Pickens. This kid's watching a documentary at college of T. Boone Pickens and says, "Heck, I want to work there." And so all of a sudden, he he picks up the phone and he calls T. Boone Pickens. Now, what are the odds he's going to get T. Boone Pickens on the phone? Slim to none and swims out of town. I mean, you're not going to meet T. Boone, Pickens. but he gets the receptionist and he said, "I was watching this documentary." And I really want to work there. Somehow, welcome, somehow, he gets T. Boone Pickens on the phone. <laughs> I'm reading the article, and I didn't read the whole thing, but you know, at the end, he's, you know, he's working now. I'm sure there's a seat somewhere. Yes, yeah, okay, right. Yeah, he, he's working there, and uh, he's doing very well. He's all successful and everything like that. What the, how did this kid get the guts to call T. Boone Pickens, and you don't? Who here would do that? Mm -hmm. So the question is, why not? Why not? How could it hurt? Here's something you want to write down. You can't lose a job you don't have. <laughs> and you just can't. But he gave himself a chance. So you would say, yeah, sure, but he's confident. But what did he do to get confident? What do you need in order to be confident? Belief in yourself. How do you get that belief in yourself? A dad who's a great career coach. A dad who's a great career coach. <laughs> you may be my best friend. <laughs> no, what, what do you mean? I think, you know, talk, think about yourself. What do you need to do for yourself? Positive thinking. Positive thinking? Another thing. What else? Right. What? Right. Competence. Confident. Proper mindset. Proper mindset. All these things. Not one of you are mentioning the real thing that you think it is right now. The reason why you don't have confidence is because you don't think you have the accomplishments to get the confidence. You think you have to build something to get the confidence. You think you have to have something in your history to get the confidence. Because that's what you're building on. It's the exact opposite. You I always go with, you know, all they can say is no. That's it. You don't, you don't get accomplishments and then get your confidence. You start with the confidence and that gives you the accomplishments. How do you 
you get confidence? You just take it. <laughs> you just take it. How do you get into a good mood? Take you just fake it. You smile. You can't do it. You can't not be if you do that. Look at this woman. She's the happiest woman alive. Look at her. But it's true. It's not the action that creates the attitude. It's the attitude that creates the action every time. And I'll prove it to you. I'm going to ask you all to do something. And what I'm going to ask you to do is to smile. But like smile like you mean. You know? Like she is. Smile like you're trying to get your ears wet, smile. You know? <laughs> smile, smile like you're trying to eat a banana, sideways, smile. I want it to be that big, right? And while you're doing that, I'm gonna ask you to do something, and we'll see what happens, ready? On the count of three. One, two, three. Oh, I wish you could see yourself. All right, I'll be in a bad mood. You can't, now look, see this young man. I asked him to be in a bad mood, what's the first thing you did? He frowned. <laughs> It's the smile that puts you in a good mood. You can't do it. That's how you get your confidence. And it's the sexiest thing. Everyone loves it. Everyone loves that stuff. Even if they turn you down. They're like, the heck, that was a confident dude right there. Come in here and do something like that. It makes everything happen. It opens up the world to you. And that's what I want you to do. So you have to brainwash yourself to do that. So how do you brainwash yourself? Who talked about positive thinking? You, you talk about positive thinking, but it's positive thinking oftentimes because you're getting bombarded with the world. You know, try to be in a good mood and watch the news. Nah. Oh, you want to kill yourself. Yeah. I mean, you really do. You watch it and you find that you're in a bad mood. You don't know what's going on. You can't talk to people. Don't do that. My dad, I was, I, when I was a little boy, I was, uh, I was nine years old and I was, I was sick at the time. I had this terrible cold and all this stuff, and it was like for a week, and it was awful. My friends were out playing, and it was wintertime in New Jersey, and we're having, we used to build these snow forts. Like me and Gary Zisman on the other side, and he had a fort, and then we'd have snowball fights, and they were epic. They were just great. We had, we'd dive in the tunnels. Anyway, I'm in the house, and they're having this snowball fight. I'm all upset. My dad comes in the room. My dad is uh, from France. Uh, not from Bulgaria, I like this guy. Oh, I hate Bulgaria. So my dad's from France, and he's a little accent, and he comes into the room, and he was very, he went to sixth grade in school, but he had wisdom, and he would came and he says, Daddy, do you like being sick? And I said, no. And he says, uh, don't do that. <laughs> and it changed my entire life. Changed my everything. I haven't been sick since I've been nine years old. I, I just don't get sick. Now, I have gotten a stuffy nose, and I have gotten a sore throat, and I have gotten a fever, but if you give it a title, it lasts for a week and a half. If you say I got a sore throat, and a stuffy nose, and a fever, it goes away in a day and a half. Never give it a title. Brainwash yourself. I don't get sick. The deeds don't get sick. It just doesn't happen. And we make sure that that happened. It changed my entire life. I used to mow the lawn. I hated mowing the lawn. I had these apple trees, and they were short, like dwarf apple trees. And they did all the stuff all over the ground, and you have to go underneath them like this. I just hated mowing the lawn. I always hated mowing the lawn. And my dad says to me, Daddy, you hate mowing the lawn? I said, Yeah. He said, Don't do that. <laughs> Don't hate it. Just like it. You can do it like that. I mean, it can change the world. You want to stop racism? Stop. You don't want to be a racist? Don't be a racist. Just stop it. You can change it in your head just like that. So, you guys are looking for a job. This is where we bring it all together. Why is it that you don't just walk into the place and say, hey, you guys hired me here? What are you afraid of? Come on, you guys. Well, that's okay, but why are you not just walking in and saying, hello, I need a job? Why don't you do that? <laughs> what what what's holding? Oh, you guys in? What's holding her back? Most from? of the companies that, uh, that I'm looking for. It's security, <laughs> very good. <laughs> okay, what did you say? I said most of the companies are out of town. Most of your companies are out of town. All right, I should do like very good. So listen, what was your name again? Tabo. Tabo. Let me tell you the difference between a reason and an excuse is the spelling. That's about it, it's the same thing. So tell me again why you're not calling on these people? 
because they're out of town. So what is somebody that a grown man or woman, intelligent beyond amazement here, you guys are as good as it gets, I bet somebody can come up with an idea of what he should do instead of walking in if they're out of town. What should he do? Call. Oh, call. oh my God, who said call? It's, you know, it's not even worthy of a high five, but I'll give it to you anyway. That's how good you are. Pick up the phone and call. Why don't you pick up the phone and call? Fear of rejection. Oh gosh, it took that long to finally get it. The fear of rejection. Oh, sorry. <laughs> the fear of rejection. So here's my question. Do you like being fearful of rejection? No. no. Don't do that. <laughs> Just don't do it. Learn to love it. Learn to embrace it. Wake up in the morning and say, I can't wait to get rejected 10 times today. I promise you. You go out with the goal of getting rejected 10 times today, you'll come home with a job. See that nod that I just got from this guy? That's, that's worth all the money that they paid me. It's exactly what it is. So, how do you fake yourself out to be in this type of mood all the time? I'll tell you what I do, and then we'll see if you can do it too. I fake myself out. I say this to myself 30 or 40 times a day. I say I leave, not follow. I believe, not doubt. I create, not destroy. I make the news. I don't watch the news. I'm a leader. I'm a force for good. I'm a force for God. I set the standard. I defy the odds. I stand up. I take charge. And I win. And I'll say it again over and over in the car. I leave that thought. I believe not that. I create, not destroy. I make the news. I don't watch the news. I'm a leader. I'm a force for good. I'm a force for God. I set the standard. I defy the odds. Stand up. I take charge. I win. And then I walk in. Can you, imagine, can you imagine saying no to me? I mean, you can't do it. I got the, when I walk in, I work myself up so much. Password. Oh, capital D. Here's my password, by the way. Capital. Asterix eight. Dutch 1 S8. Ask for Kate. Well, listen, why don't I send you a text and then you'll open it? <laughs> What's wrong with this kid? Huh? Right. So, that, so that's what happens. You think yourself out to do it and you're in that kind of mood. When I walk into a place and I'm selling something, I swear I got the cure for cancer. I really think. Imagine if you have the cure for cancer, it's in your hand. I got the cure for it. And you want to call on somebody and they say, oh, I'm not interested. <laughs> They got the cure for cancer here. That's how good I am. That's what I can do for your business. That's how much I can help you. That's how good I can make you look. Is he ever gonna get this up here? <laughs> oh my God. The TV turned off. All the years I used to run. Just take a big It's like full service, yeah. Click on this. The TV wasn't on. You were busy over there. So remember I said that I used to like Malcolm? <laughs> now th there is one reason why you shouldn't use a PC if you use a Mac. <laughs> you should tell your computer to not turn off when you're not in here. You know, uh, What's your name? <laughs> it's over between us. <laughs> yes! All right, everybody stand up. All right, here we go. So look, on the count of three, like you mean it. And we're going to see how you feel when we get done. Ready? One, two, three. I need not follow. I believe not doubt. I create not destroy. I make the news, not watch the news. I believe not the Thank you all very much.